Good, 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 good. Greetings, cyberdogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from the other side of a nether portal in this Let's Play Minecraft survival series. In the previous episode, we went on an epic journey through the nether to set up a second portal. And in this episode, my cyber diggity dogs, we are going to try and find dry land because as you can see, we have spawned above the ocean and all we can see around us is the freaking sea. <laughs> Um, I guess it's better to spawn above the ocean than underneath it though because um, it's quite easy for us just to make a, a quick little platform over here and we can now put together a, a little boat and then we can just jump off here into the ocean and then using our compass we can travel in the opposite direction to this to spawn and that way we should be able to uncover some brand new land and uh, that's gonna be awesome all I want all I want is to discover um, a freaking jungle temple that is all i ask for is that too much to ask for seriously is that too much to ask for i don't think so man i'm 100 100 sure that we can try and find ourselves a freaking jungle temple on this adventure man all right so i have made for ourselves a boat and let's get our compass up in our um our inventory over here and we can see that spawn is about in this direction over here so we want to be heading in the opposite direction to spawn right so let's just hop into the ocean from here Bam! whoa Kaplam! damn son that portal is freaking high up um that's pretty ridiculous right there let's place the boat and let's go on an adventure guys let's try and find ourselves some dry freaking land we're going to be heading away from spawn as far as possible and it looks like it's going to be impossible to get a horse back via the nether Looks like we're going to have to um, use a lead to basically do get get the horse back to the mole hole exactly the same way that we got a tray you back to the mole hole. We're just going to have to drag his ass behind us. He's going to have to swim for a ridiculously long time though. And uh, the moon is coming up, which is bad times because it means it is freaking nighttime right now. And the moment we find dry land, there are going to be a ridiculous amount of mobs waiting for our buttholes. And um you know what mobs like to do to buttholes, right? They like to violate them. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like we've come across what seems to be a little island or something. Is this an island or is this a part of a giant ass continent? That is the question. Um, this looks like it's a tiny little island. So, yeah, we're just going to go around the island. But where there is island, there is possibly dry land. And uh, where there is dry land, there is temples. And this looks, this is either a part of this peninsula over here, or, hmm, wow, that moon is looking beautiful. What a beautiful night to be on a boat, that's for shizzle. Um, all right, so this looks like it's another little island. Let's just carry on heading with the compass behind us. It looks like we're heading north, right, according to this compass. Um, hopefully we haven't been here before. <laughs> I'm not sure if we've headed in this direction before. To be honest with you, I got completely lost in the nether. And uh, we went a really, really long way in the nether. And um, I, 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 I don't actually know in which direction we went. Because, of course, a compass doesn't work in the nether. So we, we had no idea in which direction we were heading. But I'm pretty sure that we went so far. I think we definitely went further than we've ever gone in the nether. I mean, that's, that's for shizzle. If one thing is for shizzle, that is for shizzle. And it looks like there's another little island over here. Um, I don't want to break my boat though, so I've got to try and avoid these jagged rocks sticking out of the ocean. Um, sup, Skeleton Butt? Smell you later. <laughs> man, okay, now we are going a ridiculously far away. And, uh, man, <laughs> the last time I went on a boat mission, I actually did travel for a, a really, really long time before, before finding dry land. Um, the, the real problem is going to be if we die. Now, if we die, um, we can pretty much just say goodbye to all of our sweet ass loots because there's no absolutely no ways we're going to find our way back to this place. So it is vitally important that we do not die on this freaking adventure because if that happens, man, I'm going to cry. I'll probably rage quit Minecraft, then rage quit life, and uh, it'll just be all be over. <laughs> I'll go join the Ender Gods and Ender Heaven, man. W won't be able to freaking take it. But guys, it looks like we're going to have quite a long ass journey to take. So you know what, man? I'm going to... Hang on. I was about to throw this puppy into fast forward mode, but I see a bit of land. But it looks like it's just another tiny little island. All right. I'm going to throw this puppy into fast forward mode and on the other side of this blam. Hopefully, we will have come across a nice bit of huge 
giant ass land that will have a sweet ass freaking jungle temple on it. Kablam! We have been traveling for a day and a half and what in the name of all that is freaking holy is going on around here? Am I freaking tripping or something? I, I don't know if you guys noticed but we traveled through the entire night and through the entire day and I think that maybe I am freaking seasick because I see giant ass mushrooms up in here. What? <laughs> what the heck is going on here, man? I have never seen this jazz in my entire life. What the jazz are those things? Are those... What the... What the freak? <laughs> what is going on here, man? This is so awesome. What is this land? What is this land? What is that? It is a cow with freaking mushrooms on it. Oh, oh this is a freaking mushroom. This is a mushroom! <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe I've finally discovered a freaking mushroom and I guess this is a mushroom biome or something? What is going on here, man? This is absolutely crazy. That was the most epic freaking odyssey that I have ever been on. I have never traveled that far in Minecraft in my entire freaking life, people. That was absolutely ridiculous. We traveled through an entire day and an entire night straight in, this, in this one single direction. And somehow we have discovered, we've landed in the weirdest place that I have ever freaking seen in Minecraft. I don't even know what is going on right now. I'm kind of freaking out and I'm just going to make a little hut quickly so that we can sleep um, because the sun has gone down and you know what that means, man. It is freaking zombie time when the sun is down. So let's just seal ourselves in here and uh, I can't believe we found this crazy ass bio, man. This is so freaking sweet. I just want to go exploring. I just want to go and see what the jazz is around here, man. I have no idea what, what is around here. What can we actually get from this place? Um, other than a whole bunch of freaking shrooms, obviously. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe this mission has somehow become uh, really important because this means we can stock up on a whole bunch of shrooms and maybe we need these shrooms to make um, potions and, and, and recipes and stuff in the witch's cave. I don't know. I'm going to have to look up on some of the the witch, the, the uh, brewing stand recipes because if we can find like, I don't know, if, if these shrooms give us a whole butt ton of different uh, materials, look at the grass also man, the grass texture is completely different. I want this freaking grass texture so badly but we don't have a silk touch pickaxe with us. What happens if I kill one of these things? Ah bastard! Well it gave me a steak and some XP balls. Is that it? Ah, bastard! Another- Ooh, I got two cooked steaks out of that one. Okay, well it doesn't look like the cows give us anything. Oh, there's some hide, but it's just normal leather. You know what, guys? We might have to take one of these freaking cows back to 
the molehole. We might have to take one of these cows back to Rentopia using this lead over here. Screw getting another horse, man. We know where we can find horses. We need, we need a pet mushroom in the molehole. Who is with me? <laughs> we are going to take one of these freaking cows back to the molehole, man. It is going to be awesome. Okay, anyway, I need to freaking re- calibrate myself because i don't know what the jazz is going on right now i actually feel like i'm tripping because this is absolutely crazy let's let's get ourselves a little bit of cobblestone i want to break down these trees and see what they actually give us i don't what i don't know if they give us mushrooms or if they, if they give us some sort of new material and i definitely want to plant these things back in the mole hole um but i don't know how i don't know exactly how we can do that so let's just set up a, a crafting table over here and uh, let's just make for ourselves a I, I'm, I'm assuming we need a, an axe to, to cut these trees down. What do we actually get from these freaking shroom trees? Let's have a look. Nothing. Nothing? What the jazz? We don't get anything from these things. Oh, there we go. What was that? Oh, a, a mushroom. Hmm. <laughs> no! I agree with you, Kyle. No. How do I... I want to plant one of these trees. That's what I want to do. What was that? Oh, that was another shroom. How come... Oh, man. How come we can't get, like, a sapling or something? Can we get a mushroom tree sapling? Is that even possible? Another shroom. Okay, we can... So we only get shrooms from these things. What happens if we break down another one of these things? Let's have a look. No, what the jazz? We only get shrooms from that. Oh, man. And if we... We can't make a block of shrooms, can we? No, it doesn't look like it. Man, what the jazz? I want to plant these things back at the molehole. How in the jazz are we going to plant these things? How do we take these things back to the molehole? Guys, that is your mission. Let me know in the comment section below. How in the jazz are we going to get these shrooms, these shroom trees, back to Rentopia? Um, I know how I'm, how I'm going to get the mushroom back. I'm going to get him back with a freaking leash. But I have no idea how to get these mushroom trees back, though. And, um, maybe this mushroom tree is different? Does this... What does this give us? Nothing! Nothing! No, nothing! Just shrooms! Oh, man. That is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Maybe we need a silk, uh, silk touch pickaxe. That's probably what we need, right? Silk touch... Silk touch pickaxe? Oh, man. That is going to be really unfortunate if we need a silk touch pickaxe. Because I don't have any idea where we are. And I don't know if we're going to be able to get back here from the molehole. Um... Oh, man. All right. Well, let's see if we can find a way into a cave system around here. Let's see if there's a cave system up in this jazz. Um, I think I'm just going to literally dig into the side of this mountain and see what we find. This is so awesome, man. Uh, this is the first time in a very long time in Minecraft Survival that I've seen something that I've never seen before. And I just feel like a little kid right now, man. I am so freaking stoked right now. This is so awesome. Um, man. Freaking mushrooms. I remember reading about them in the comment section. Uh, one of you guys was talking about mushrooms or something. And I was like, what the jazz is that cyber dog talking about, man? He's just, he's just talking rubbish. Um, but I, this is a freaking mushroom. It's a cow with mushrooms growing on it. I mean, if that isn't weird, then I don't know what is. But uh, what happens if we dig down over here? Let's feel like we could break into a cave system. This is probably not a good idea, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Not a good idea at all, considering we could break into lava and just die. So, bad idea, Rendog. Bad freaking idea. You see, this is what happens when I get really excited, man. I, I start playing really badly. Okay, I'm, I'm going to pull myself together. Okay. I, I, I pulled myself back together. Ooh, what happens if we use a pickaxe on this? Nothing. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang around here for now, guys. And I'm going to wait for you guys to freaking help me in the comment section below. How in the jazz do we get these awesome ass look how awesome they are these mushroom trees they are so cool <laughs> oh man these are i kind of i kind of want to plant them on uh silkworm gang island for some reason i don't know I've ju i just got a like a i don't know, a feeling you know like plant plant them on silkworm gang island is that a cave entrance over there that is a cave entrance swim oh man this is so awesome check at this place oh man I wish this was closer to Rentopia. I, mean, I don't even know how far we've traveled, uh, but we traveled for an entire night and basically an entire day, which equated to about 20 minutes of real life time, people. 20 minutes. Uh, that is a lot of traveling in one direction. So <laughs> I, there's absolutely no ways we could build a railway line or something to this place. You know, it's just, it's just logistically impossible, man. 
Uh, what we might we, what we might have to do is make a we could make a nether portal here, but I think that's going to be still going to be a ridiculous far way uh, to travel in the nether to get here. This looks like just a tiny little cave system. That looks like another cave system over there. Is that still part of this weird ass trippy biome? Well, there's only one way to to find out. <laughs> Swim, man! This is so cool. Check out these shrooms. Oh man, I. I can't wait to take that freaking mushroom back to the molehole, man. And I, I'm already starting to think of a name for him or her. Um, but you know what? I'm going to leave that up to you guys. You guys get to choose a name for the mushroom. And uh, the name that makes me lol the hardest will be the name of the mushroom. <laughs> oh, man. Is it a mushroom or a moosh or a shroom moo? I don't know. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We have found a lovely, lovely little cave system up in here. Now, is there weirder stuff in the cave systems of a, of a, of a shroom biome? I don't know, man. I don't, know, I, don't, I don't even know if that freaking mushroom knows. But, um, yeah, this is going to take us down into a new cave system. And that means we're going to be able to get a whole bunch of new gold. But this looks like it's come to an end, unfortunately. Um, let's do a little bit of, let's do a, a bit of prospecting. Nope, nothing in that direction. Nothing in that direction. Oh, there's some urns. Sweet. Well, we might as well make a downward staircase and see if we can break into a giant ass ravine. Um, and then we can actually start on this awesome ass adventure of collecting awesome ass loot. And once our inventory is completely full, then we will come back to this awesome shroom biome, um, collect some shroom trees if it's even possible, and leash a, a mushroom to take back to Rentopia. And he's going to be my pet, man. <laughs> he's going to live in the mole hole. He can wander around the molehole. You know, like, like, I don't know how many of you guys, um, how many of you cyber dogs out there live in India, but my mushroom is going to be like my holy cow, man. He is going to be the holy cow. No one can do anything or say anything to my freaking mushroom uh, or there's going to be problems. But guys, I'm going to have to do this absolutely 100% properly so that we know how to get back to um, the moo biome. So <laughs> the moo biome, <laughs> the shroom biome. So I think what I'm, what I'm going to do is just set up like a really really um really obvious entrance over here and what we're gonna really have to do on this adventure guys is something that we've never managed to do properly on adventures and that is mark our path how to get back to this entrance because if i lose sight of this uh, shroom biome i'm gonna be so upset and we're gonna lose out on some really epic epic stuff so guys this is what i'm gonna do and wherever we journey on this adventure um i need to make sure that i know how to get back so but you know what guys i don't think i'm in the right state of mind right now now to go adventuring so i'm going to end the episode here in the next episode we are going to explore this giant ass cavern hopefully find some gold some diamonds some freaking iron some chests and if we could find a silk touch uh, uh book in a chest that would be absolutely epic but guys this has been absolutely insane i have loved this episode cannot wait to get back to the shroom biome and to take a mushroom back to rentopia it's going to be awesome guys if you have enjoyed this episode you know what to do you hit that like button if you haven't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button because we are about to go on an epic caving adventure guys this has been rendog playing minecraft survival i'm so excited i can't even talk i will see you in the next episode goodbye my friends